points tonight, a, a very important win. Were you feeling pressure going into this, just with the, the recent run of results? And does, does this kind of steady the ship a little bit? Uh, yes, of course, we were feeling the pressure. Six games without winning after a very good start. And coming here... Also because the last performance were okay, but we didn't we didn't score. We had like a little bit of, uh, you know, you could have been a little bit uh, uh, shook, shake, shaken, shaken in the in your convincement, even the players. And we came here, we did a very good performance. Uh, I would say a White Cups trademark performance with a great organization defensively, good transition very good in uh, offensive set plays so that's uh, uh, I think to be perfect would have been like, like some crossing he could have gone a little better because we had a lot of opportunity to score even more goals and um, uh, yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that uh, that we did a fantastic job and we got three points have to ask you about the Canadian Championship, the draw yeah. has just been made uh, as we're all sitting here. So as things currently stand, it looks like it's going to be another Whitecaps Pacific matchup, having yeah. an incredible second half at Ottawa. How pleased are you with another BC Derby, but also in the midst of what is going to be a really hellish travel schedule anyway in July that you don't have to then fly out east? So uh, the... For me, the most important thing is that we are in the first semi-final. So in case we win the, the semi-final, we host the final. So that's mm -hmm. the most important thing. And uh, that because that would be a great boost to have another final at home. Then, logistically, of course, we would prefer to play in Victoria than going to Ottawa. Uh, that being said, I've never been to Ottawa. So I'd like to go to see the parliament and everything. And uh, so that's... Uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's going to be hard. The game, the first game is away uh, because we are the higher seeded. So in, even if it's in Ottawa, it's right after a game in Montreal. So we are already there. And um, uh, so, yeah, it's going to be hard, very hard, whoever's going to be. Now, Pacific, I think Pacific is winning 2-0, no? And um, yeah. so it's uh, whatever's going to be, is going to be hard. Um, of course, logistically wise, and also for the beauty of the of the derby, you know, they won the first time, we won the second time. It's nice. It's nice to have a third time. But whoever's gonna be, uh, it's it's we're looking forward to it because we love the Canadian Championship and we want to win it again. And also, uh, last performance, even if we qualify, wasn't that good. So we are in huge debt with uh, our fans and all the Canadian public to do to do better job. Thanks, Barry. Safe travels home. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Uh, are there further questions for Benny? Beautiful. Easy. Like this? Okay. No, uh, no, 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 no. I have more if there's if no one else is asking. We're going to JJ next. Okay. <laughs> I stuck in there. I stuck in there, Michael. Um, yeah, if, if, in terms of, uh, you know, what preceded this game, you know, the... The, the winless streak, uh, everything that went down with Messi. Uh, how big was it to get this result on the road? And how long did the good vibes last before you guys start thinking about Colorado? Yeah, the good vibes uh, ends uh, tomorrow morning. So tonight, it's there's a good vibe on the plane. And uh, uh, it's good that, uh, you know, you're not just sleeping, but you... You can watch some, I don't know, documentary or something like uh, that you downloaded that uh, is going to be nice or a series. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's, that, that's a good thing. And then from tomorrow, we'll, we'll start thinking about Colorado. But you think about Colorado in a completely different way if you want. Because now you face a team that at the moment they have the same point as us. I don't know if they're playing or not playing the win. So it, we, it's a team that if we beat, we go ahead of them. Uh, it means being winning at least, uh, I would say, uh, fifth or sixth. So that would be, uh, again, being in a very good performance after the break. So and getting in into the break with 25 points in 16 games, that it means more, making more than 50 points as an average in the in the 
in the in the league. We arrived two times six in the last three years, making 49 points. So if you make more than 50, you arrive higher and we'll be very close to get to the to the top four. So yeah, it's a completely different feeling, and we are we're very we are very happy to approach the game in this way. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Back to Michael. Uh, I will go Nathan next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right, JJ. Watch out. <laughs> uh, Vanny, you talked about wanting to give a bit of a shock. Uh, yeah. With uh, your comments uh, at the end of last match. You provide that a little bit when the tactical formation, uh, a bit of the lineup came out. What did you work on from uh, the weekend to today uh, in training that? Uh, kind of allowed you to kind of come up with this three-five-two uh, lineup that you had. Put out. We work a lot on how we had to defend and press with the midfield, and I think that we did fantastically. The two wing backs and the two number eight were very good, and that allow having those four guys to have Andres even more aggressive. If you're able to not get broken immediately and the, the, the distance become compact, they try to play the, the player in the middle, and Andres can go there and be like uh, you know the the ball stealer that he is. Like it's like a, uh, you know like a. Who was that player? Very, very good player. The NBA player in the 90s. Uh, the Glove plays for the Seattle Supersonics. JJ knows for sure. It's like, so that's how uh, was. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, it's um, the, that's, that's, that was the best thing. The other thing was to be very intentional when we had the ball and attacking and feeling the final third. And that's what we did. I think the quality of crossing could have been a little better, but uh, we went to those areas that we want to play the ball and uh, to to populate the box. So, yeah, I think those are the two things that we work the most and uh, we probably keep working for Colorado too. Even though in Colorado playing with the diamond in the first half, we did extremely well. So we'll have to make a decision tomorrow what to do if we stick with this formation or we get back playing uh, with the diamond and three strikers. Speaking about that, the number eights that you use, I wanted to talk a little bit about Sebastian. Uh, we don't get to see him as often uh, right now, just the, the way things have been going, but uh, he found himself with, uh, with a start and he, uh, he delivered a performance. Uh, yes, he did very well. Uh, yeah, whenever you use him, he kind of fits in wherever you seem to need him. Uh, today was was where he was. Sometimes it's back to the six. He's a, as a wing back. Yeah. What does he give you? Uh, and what's what's his mentality when you kind of come to him and say where he's going to be? Uh, he, he's a guy that seems uh, sometimes more than anyone to really really play for this team. Yeah. So so Sebastian is like a, you know. Telling, saying that he's a hard worker, it's like not giving justice to the word hard and to the word worker. So that's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's something I would say that goes beyond any imagination, in my opinion. Uh, the thing is that he's very versatile tactically. And, uh, you know, this season, to be honest, he didn't start very well. He was a little bit in his head and everything. That's the reason why he was, he fell a little bit out of the rotation. But in the last month, month and a half, we started to see the old Sebastian. The Sebastian at last year was a, a very important piece because of his versatility, and it showed it today. Like uh, you know, guys, the the play that he did at the beginning when uh, we made a mistake going with too many men uh, on a throw-in, uh, and they had a counterattack, and he recovered that ball in the middle. That's the play that made us win the game. Because if they score after 10 minutes in a very silly mistake that we made, and uh, it's going to be very hard to get back here. So I think that uh, I know that goal scored two goals, so he's the man of the match. But my man of the match, it's him. Fair enough. Um, speaking of golf, uh, when that first goal went in, what was your what was your initial reaction or your initial feeling when you finally get an open goal or an open play goal for the first time in five six matches? Yeah, it was like uh, finally, <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, but I felt that we were doing well. We had the chance with Brian before with the header that went outside for minimal thing and everything. Uh, I told them that uh, I wanted the pair, like uh, like uh, you know. You know, they were like a kind of a, a reserve wine last year. So I wanted the the label Golden White 2023 because they did fantastically last year. So I think that they show me and, uh, you know, now we can have uh, 
uh, hopefully a new harvest to have even a better a better a superior reserve think golden white 2024 uh, so they are, they they played good like a good chianti final win for me um <laughs> we've talked about the defensive stability and how everything kind of builds from the back for this team you mentioned the previous colorado game seattle you did it again except you know maybe the, the final couple of minutes but with that back three, and in particular, I wanted to ask you about Javain Brown, another guy that's found yeah. himself uh, with a bit more game time this month and has really seemed to do something very well with it. Yeah. So I'm very happy for Javain. For, I think, for, you know, that is, this is the season where he became a man, not only a good player. Someone who, even if sometimes he doesn't play, he doesn't get in his head, he keeps working and he shows me that uh, he can play again. That's the reason why lately he played very often. That's the reason why uh, I can say that he will probably play Saturday too if he's okay. And uh, that's the reason why he's having very good performance. So, you know, I applaud him and uh, I think he's doing uh, very well, and um, you know, it's uh, uh, I'm really happy for him. Thank you, sir. Have a safe flight back.